Attorney General, Wikipedia article audio. In most common law jurisdictions, the Attorney General or Attorney General or Attorney Generals is the main legal advisor to the government, and in some jurisdictions, they may also have executive responsibility for law enforcement, prosecutions, or even responsibility for legal affairs generally. In practice, the extent to which the Attorney General personally provides legal advice to the government varies between jurisdictions, and even between individual office holders within the same jurisdiction, often depending on the level and nature of the office holder's prior legal experience. Where the Attorney General has ministerial responsibility for legal affairs in general, the ministerial portfolio is largely equivalent to that of a Minister of Justice in some other countries. Etymology Attorneys General in Common Law in Hybrid Jurisdictions The term was originally used to refer to any person who holds a general power of attorney to represent a principal in all matters. In the common law tradition, anyone who represents the state, especially in criminal prosecutions, is such an attorney. Although a government may designate some official as the permanent attorney general, anyone who came to represent the state in the same way could, in the past, be referred to as such, even if only for a particular case. Today, however, in most jurisdictions, the term is largely reserved as a title of the permanently appointed Attorney General of the state, sovereign or other member of the royal family. Civil law jurisdictions have similar offices, which may be variously called Public Prosecutor General, Procurators, Advocates General, Public Attorneys, and other titles. Many of these offices also use Attorney General or Attorney General as the English translation of the title, although because of different historical provenance, the nature of such offices is usually different from that of Attorneys General in common law jurisdictions. In regard to the etymology of the phrase Attorney General, Stephen Pinker writes that the earliest citation in the Oxford English Dictionary is from 1292, two attorneys general per round lever fins et sur graffer. The phrase was borrowed from Anglo-Norman French when England was ruled by Normans after the conquest of England in the 11th century. As a variety of French, which was spoken in the law courts, schools, universities and in sections of the gentry and the bourgeoisie, the term relating to government got introduced into English. The phrase Attorney General is composed of a noun followed by the post-positive adjective general and as other French compounds its plural form also appears as Attorneys Generals. As compared to Major Generals, a term that also originates from French and also has a post-positive adjective, it also appears as Attorney Generals. Steven Pinker writes, So if you are ever challenged for saying Attorney Generals, mother-in-laws, passerbys, you can reply, they are the very model of the modern Major General. Attorneys General in common law jurisdictions, and jurisdictions with a legal system which is partially derived from the common law tradition, share a common provenance. In Australia, the Attorney General is the Chief Law Officer of the Crown and a member of the Cabinet. The Attorney General is the Minister responsible for legal affairs, national and public security, and the Australian Security Intelligence Organisation. Christian Porter is the current Attorney General. The Australian states each have separate Attorneys General, who are state ministers with similar responsibilities to the federal minister with respect to state law. Australia Functions of the state and federal attorneys general include the administration of the selection of persons for nomination to judicial posts, and authorizing prosecutions. In normal circumstances, 
the prosecutorial powers of the Attorney General are exercised by the Director of Public Prosecutions and Staff, however, the Attorney General maintains formal control, including the power to initiate and terminate public prosecutions and take over private prosecutions. Statutory criminal law provides that prosecutions for certain offenses require the individual consent of the Attorney General. This is generally for offenses whose illegality is of a somewhat controversial nature or where there is perceived to be a significant risk that prosecutions of a political nature may be embarked upon. The Attorney General also generally has the power to issue certificates legally conclusive of certain facts. The facts stated in such certificates must be accepted by the courts and cannot legally be disputed by any parties. The Attorney General also has the power to issue a null pros equi with respect to a case, which authoritatively determines that the state does not wish to prosecute the case, so preventing any person from doing so. For the Attorneys General of the various states and territories of Australia see Bangladesh The Attorney General of Canada is a separate title held by the Canadian Minister of Justice, a member of the Cabinet. The Minister of Justice is concerned with questions of policy and their relationship to the justice system. In their role as Attorney General, they are the Chief Law Officer of the Crown. A separate Cabinet position, the Minister of Public Safety, formerly the Solicitor General, administers the law enforcement agencies of the federal government. For the Attorneys General of the various provinces of Canada C. Barbados In Fiji, the role of the Attorney General is defined as providing essential legal expertise and support to the government. More specific functions include legislative drafting, legal aid, the prerogative of mercy, liquor licensing and film censorship. Canada The current Attorney General is Ayaz Said Qayyum. In January 2008, he sparked controversy by accepting other government positions in addition to his role as Attorney General. Said Qayyum is currently responsible also for public enterprise, electoral reform, and anti-corruption. An article in the Fiji Times pointed out that never before in the history of this nation has the Attorney General held a portfolio dealing with matters other than the law and the judiciary, and criticized the decision. Fiji The Secretary for Justice known as the Attorney General before the transfer of the sovereignty in 1997, is the legal advisor to the Hong Kong government and heads the Department of Justice. They are assisted by five law officers, namely Hong Kong Crimes and offenses are prosecuted at the suit of the Secretary of Justice. The Secretary of Justice appointed by the Chinese government on the advice of the Chief Executive of Hong Kong, is an ex officio member of the Executive Council of Hong Kong. The position is normally held by a legal professional, and was, before July 2002, a civil service position. The Attorney General of Ireland is the legal advisor to the government and is therefore the Chief Law Officer of the state. The Office of the Attorney General, is made up of a number of different offices. Since the enactment of the Prosecution of Offences Act 1974 the responsibility for the prosecution of indictable criminal offences is mostly in the hands of the Director of Public Prosecutions who is by law independent of the Attorney General and the State. The current Attorney General is Seamus Walf, S.C. In the Isle of Man, the Attorney General is a Crown appointment and sits in the Legislative Council of the Isle of Man, ex officio. India The Attorney General of Israel is the head of the public prosecution from the state, 
the person who advises the government in legal matters, the person who represents the state's authorities in the courts, and advises in preparation of law memoranda of the government in general and the justice minister in particular. Ireland This is a position which existed in Jamaica for a long time. Attorney General of the Australian Capital Territory, Attorney General of New South Wales, Attorney General of the Northern Territory, Attorney General of Queensland, Attorney General of South Australia, Attorney General of Tasmania, Attorney General of Victoria, Attorney General of Western Australia. The Hon. Marlene Malahuforte, QC. MP is the new Attorney General of Jamaica as of March 7, 2016. In Kenya the Attorney General is the principal legal advisor to the government and ex officio member of Parliament and Cabinet. His duties include the formulation of legal policy and ensuring proper administration of Kenya's legal system including professional legal education. Assisting the Attorney General in the performance of his duties as Principal Legal Advisor to the Government are Alberta Minister of Justice and Attorney General, Attorney General of British Columbia, Minister of Justice and Attorney General, Office of the Attorney General, Minister of Justice and Public Safety and Attorney General of Newfoundland and Labrador, Minister of Justice of the Northwest Territories. Attorney General and Minister of Justice of Nova Scotia, Minister of Justice of Nunavut, Attorney General of Ontario, Minister of Justice and Public Safety and Attorney General of Prince Edward Island. Ministry of Justice, Minister of Justice and Attorney General of Saskatchewan, Minister of Justice. In Kiribati, the Attorney General is defined by Section 42 of the Constitution as the principal legal advisor to the government. The Constitution specifies, no person shall be qualified to hold or to act in the office of Attorney General unless he is qualified to practice in Kiribati as an advocate in the High Court. The current Attorney General, as of 2016, is the Honorable Tediro Semi Lota. Isle of Man Israel Jamaica Kenya In Malaysia the Attorney General or Peguam Negara is the principal legal advisor to the government. He is also the principal public prosecutor in the country, and is also known as the public prosecutor. He has the power exercisable at his discretion, to institute, conduct or discontinue any proceedings for an offence, other than proceedings before a Suriah court, a native court or a court-martial. The current Attorney General is Mohammed Apandai Ali. The Solicitor General who heads the Legal Policy Division, the Director of Public Prosecutions who head the Prosecutions Division, the law officer who heads the civil law division, the law officer who heads the international law division, and, the law draftsman who heads the law drafting division. In Mauritius, the attorney general, who should be a barrister, is the principal legal advisor to the government and holds the office of a minister. The attorney general's office is also responsible for the drafting of legislation, and vetting of all contracts or agreements of which the government is a party, including international agreements, treaties, or conventions. In Nepal, the Attorney General is the chief legal advisor of government of Nepal as well as its chief public prosecutor. An Attorney General is appointed by the President on the recommendation of Prime Minister. The Attorney General's office is a constitutional body under the Constitution of Nepal. For a person to be eligible for the post of Attorney General, they also has to be qualified to be appointed as a judge of the Supreme Court. The Attorney General's office containing the Advisory Council to the Attorney General, 
the Office of Parliamentary Council to the government containing the Parliamentary Council who draft legislation and have responsibilities in the area of statute law revision, the Chief State Solicitor's Office containing the solicitors representing the attorney and the state. In New Zealand, the Attorney General is the Chief Law Officer and Primary Legal Advisor of the New Zealand Government. Historically, the post could be held either by a politician or by a senior jurist, but today, it is invariably held by a Member of Parliament. The Attorney General attends Cabinet, but the post is not the same as the Minister of Justice. The Attorney General has departmental responsibility for the Crown Law Office, the Parliamentary Council Office, and the Serious Fraud Office. By tradition, persons appointed to the position of Attorney General have almost invariably been lawyers. Only two former Attorneys General have not been lawyers, most recently Dr. Michael Cullen who held the post in 2005, and again from 2006. Cullen's appointment was controversial at the time because of his non-legal background. The Attorney General of Pakistan is the legal advisor to the government of the Pakistan and its public prosecutor. The Attorney General of the Philippines was an office that existed from 1901 until 1932, when the office was abolished and its functions taken over by the Secretary of Justice. Since then, the Solicitor General of the Philippines, previously the second law officer, has been the principal law officer and legal defender of the Philippine government. The office of the Solicitor General is the law firm of the Republic of the Philippines. It is tasked with representing the Philippines, the Philippine government, and all its officials in any litigation or matter requiring the services of a lawyer especially before appellate courts. It is an independent and autonomous office attached to the Department of Justice for budgetary purposes. Kiribati In Samoa, the Attorney General is the legal advisor to the government. The current Attorney General is Amua Ming Luang Wei. The Attorney General of Singapore is the legal advisor to the government of the Republic of Singapore and its public prosecutor. The current Attorney General is Lucien Wang. The Attorney General of Sri Lanka is the Chief Legal Advisor of the Government of Sri Lanka and Head of the Attorney General Department which is the Public Prosecutor. Malaysia Maldives Mauritius The Office of Attorney General was established in Tonga in 1988 and was held jointly with the Portfolio of Justice Minister until the two were separated in 2009. The Attorney General is defined as the Chief Legal Advisor to Government. According to the Constitution of Trinidad and Tobago, the supreme law of the nation, the Attorney General shall be responsible for the administration of legal affairs in Trinidad and Tobago and legal proceedings for and against the state shall be taken in the case of civil proceedings, in the name of the Attorney General, in the case of criminal proceedings, in the name of the state. The Attorney General for England and Wales is similarly the Chief Law Officer of the Crown in England and Wales and advises and represents the Crown and Government Departments in court. In practice, the Treasury Solicitor normally provides the lawyers or briefs Treasury Council to appear in court, although the Attorney General may appear in person. The person appointed to this role provides legal advice to the government, acts as the representative of the public interest and resolves issues between government departments. The Attorney General has supervisory powers over the prosecution of criminal offences, but is not personally involved with prosecutions, however, some prosecutions cannot be commenced without their consent, and they have the power to halt prosecutions generally. Criminal prosecutions are the responsibility of the Crown Prosecution Service, 
headed by the Director of Public Prosecutions. The Attorney General may appeal cases to the higher courts where, although the particular case is settled, there may be a point of law of public importance at issue. The Attorney General's deputy is the Solicitor General for England and Wales. Myanmar Since the prorogation of the Parliament of Northern Ireland in 1972, the Attorney General for England and Wales was also Attorney General for Northern Ireland. The separate Office of Attorney General for Northern Ireland was recreated alongside the new Office of Advocate General for Northern Ireland upon the devolution of policing and justice powers to the Northern Ireland Assembly in 2010. Under the recent constitutional reforms, the Lord Advocate has become an officer of the Scottish Government, while the United Kingdom Government is advised on Scots law by the Advocate General for Scotland. The Lord Advocate is assisted by the Solicitor General for Scotland. Under the Government of Wales Act 2006, the Council General is the chief legal advisor to the Welsh Assembly Government. The Attorney General of the Duchy of Cornwall is the chief legal adviser to the Prince of Wales, and there is a separate Attorney General for the Duchy of Lancaster, an appointment that is held by the Crown. In the Federal Government of the United States, the Attorney General is a member of the Cabinet and, as head of the Department of Justice, is the top law enforcement officer and lawyer for the government. The Attorney General may need to be distinguished from the Solicitor General, a High Justice Department official with the responsibility of representing the government before the Supreme Court. In cases of exceptional importance, however, the Attorney General may choose personally to represent the government to the Supreme Court. The individual U.S. states and territories, as well as the federal capital of Washington, D.C. also have attorneys general with similar responsibilities. The majority of state attorneys general are chosen by popular election, as opposed to the U.S. Attorney General, who is a presidential appointee confirmed by the Senate. In nearly all United States jurisdictions the Attorney General is the chief law enforcement officer of that jurisdiction and as such Attorney General may also be considered a police rank. The proper form of addressing a person holding the office is addressed Mr. or Madam Attorney General, or just as Attorney General. The plural is Attorneys General or Attorneys General. The Attorney General is the Chief Legal Advisor of the Government of Zimbabwe. The office falls under the Ministry of Justice and Legal Affairs. Non-common law jurisdictions usually have one or more offices which are similar to attorneys general in common law jurisdictions, some of which use attorney general as the English translation of their titles. Nepal New Zealand The Attorney Generals of Afghanistan is the legal advisor to the Government of Islamic Republic of Afghanistan. It also monitors the implementation of laws in order to promote peace and prosperity through the rule of law, and to enhance the quality of life of the Afghan people. Currently Mohammed Ishak Alako is the Attorney General of Islamic Republic of Afghanistan. The Agos mission is to serve all of the people of Afghanistan, without discrimination, by defending the people's right to safety and security and ensuring fairness, impartiality, and justice when investigating and prosecuting criminality. This also requires monitoring the implementation of laws in order to promote peace and prosperity through the rule of law, and to enhance the quality of life of the Afghan people. Pakistan In Brazil the Attorney General of the Union is in charge of the legal defense of the federal government, legally known as the Union, and of advising the President of the Republic on legal matters. The current Attorney General is Grace Mendonca. 
Philippines, Samoa, Singapore, Sri Lanka, Tonga, Trinidad and Tobago, United Kingdom, England and Wales, Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales, Other Attorneys General in the UK, United States, Zimbabwe, A separate position, the Prosecutor General of the Republic, is the head of the Public Prosecutor's Office. The Prosecutor General is appointed by the President and confirmed by the Senate. The current Prosecutor General is Raquel Dodge. A third position, the Federal Public Defender General, oversees Federal Public Defender's offices. In the Republic of Crimea, the Attorney General's office is known as Prosecutor General's office, hence the name of the role or position. The office is formerly held by Pro's cutie Natalia Poklinskia, who garnered internet fame as Pro's cutie since March 2014. In the Dominican Republic the Procuraduria General de la Republica is an institution belonging to the executive branch that is responsible for representing the Dominican state in courts of law, defending public interest assuring respect for the due process of law and overseeing penitentiaries in the Republic. The Attorney General of Indonesia is responsible to advise the government about law problems as well as execute Supreme Court's order. The Office of Attorney General has the ranking and power on PAR with another ministries or departments in Cabinet. The Office is not part of Justice Department in Cabinet. The Cabinet has its own Law and Human Rights Department with a separate Minister of Law and Human Rights that focuses on more technical and regulation-making rather than executing Supreme Court's order. The Attorney General is also a Solicitor General. So, the Attorney General can represent the government in the Supreme Court. The Attorney General has the power to indict and prosecute outlaws and lawbreakers. The current Attorney General of Indonesia of Indonesia is Hamprasidia, who assumed office since 2014. In Italy there is no strict equivalent of an Attorney General, and all comparisons risk being misleading due to the differences in the constitutional and legal systems. The very approximate equivalent of an U.S. Attorney General would be the Ministro della Giustizia who is a member of the government and head of the Italian Department of Justice. Also the English Attorney General has no direct equivalent, as the function of legal advisor to the government does not exist as such, and part of its responsibilities are in the Avvocato Generale dello Stato, who is in charge of representing the state in any civil, criminal or administrative lawsuit, but not in charge of prosecution. Prosecution in Italy enjoys constitutional independence from the government, and is entrusted to a district attorney, the Procuratore della Repubblica, the Procuratore General, the Procuratore Distretal Antimafia, the Procuratore General and the Procura Nazionale Antimafia. In Mexico the Procuraduria General de la Republica is an institution belonging to the federal executive branch that is responsible for the investigation and prosecution of federal crimes. In the Netherlands, there are two types of attorneys general, that are only historically related. The first type of attorney general is the public prosecutor in criminal cases at appellate courts. The second type of Attorney General is an independent advisor to the Supreme Court. These people give an opinion on cases in any field of law, supported by a scientific staff. The Supreme Court may either follow or reject the opinion of the Attorney General. In a way, an Attorney General acts as yet another judge, but in the Dutch system that does not allow dissenting opinions to be published 
it is the only way to reflect different perceptions on a case. The Procureur General also prosecutes members of Parliament in the case of misfiance. Dutch Attorneys General do not normally advise the government. Office of the Attorney General of Norway is legal advisor to the government. The Attorney General assists the executive branch of government with judicial questions, and to conduct civil legal trials. The Attorney General is subordinate to the Prime Minister. The Director of Public Prosecutions of Norway is the head of the Norwegian Prosecuting Authority, an independent government agency subordinate only to King in Council. The Judge Advocate General of Norway is the head of the Military Prosecution Authority, and is subordinate to Riksadvokaten. In Serbia the office is called Public Attorney of the Republic of Serbia. It is the person who represents the state's authorities in the courts and administrative bodies, and advises the government in civil law matters. Crimes and offences are prosecuted by the public prosecutor. In Spain, the office is called Fiscal General del Estado and also, Ministro Fiscal, because it is also the head of the Spanish Ministerio Fiscal, an institution with the duty of promoting the action of justice, defend the law, the citizens' rights and the public interest, as well as to ensure the independence of the courts and to seek the satisfaction of the social interest. Procurator General is the head of Supreme People's Procuracy of Vietnam. Media related to Attorneys General at Wikimedia Commons Similar offices in non-common law jurisdictions Afghanistan Brazil Crimea Dominican Republic Germany Hungary Indonesia Solicitor General Senior Deputy Solicitor General, Director of Public Prosecutions, Registrar General, Administrator General, Chairman of Advocates Complaints Commission, Chief Parliamentary Council, Chief State Council. Italy Mexico Netherlands Norway Russia Serbia Soviet Union Spain Vietnam